the red corner and curse. We got a Sunbo guy on this card, but he's actually got some wins on his record too. <laughs> Okay, Joe's Gascoigne representing Banbury Martial Arts Academy under Stuart Davis. And uh, Joe, no stranger to the uh, ballerina cage here, one and one, coming into this fight and uh, beat Predica on the 26th of February in a, in a very good fight. He's a, one of those fighters, just very well rounded, very skillful, very good at everything. And that's what you get with the BMAC guys. They've got excellent stroking under a bit of a Thai boxing legend, Stuart Davis. They've, uh, they've just taken on uh, a new uh, head jiu-jitsu coach in Simon Squires, who's an uh, escapology black belt, who's heading up their jiu-jitsu program, helping Brilliant. them work on their groundwork. Going from strength to strength. We, yeah. Paul Gascoigne, we saw him last fight in Gloucester and dropped to um, Joe Bonacice, didn't he? Yes. And yeah, that was a, a little bit of a quick one, really, and we were really expecting the, the difference to be Gascoigne's kicking. Gascoigne's come out a little body's changed a lot actually yeah. not necessarily as muscly as he was and he had a fight on the uh, k-star show look very very competitive on that beautiful <laughs> tim quinlan 2-0 representing kraken mma and, uh, He's got a big win under his belt, doesn't he, Chris? Yeah, he beat Tommy Scalgrim, who is such a talented and tough fighter. You get a win against Tommy, you you know you put you you beat one of the toughest guys on this card. And you had, the to, best earn the you yeah, had you to earn it. Toughest. You had to earn it because he's not getting put away easy at all. And Tim Quinlan, such a weird rangy fighter for the weight class here at 61 kilos. He's tall, man, he's taller than me. He had you know, he's got a couple inches on me. I was back in the back chatting to him a little while ago. He's like my personal MMA Jesus coming out there from Kraken <laughs> MMA and they've got the best shirts man they're like sweat activated I've got one of their um, rash guards and when you sweat like the Kraken comes out it's pretty cool Ooh, I want one and we've had we've had some great great fighters out there like Max Pearson yeah who's you know you know they love spoiling coming out shows oh, these Pearson's are Pearson's submission win mm -hmm. the famous one so they've had they've got great it's a great lighter weight gym it really really is and they're all just in there, love of fighting, love of competing. So yeah, it's all to play for. Tim Quinlan, and you couldn't have a stranger fighter at the 61 kilo weight category. He's going to be the taller of the Ranger one, but we know Gascoigne's got some great kickboxing. And we know they has work on his ground game. We have the British Bantamweight title on the line a little later tonight. And either yep. one of these fighters, I, sp I think especially Tim Quinlan, he puts, a, he puts a win on this one. He's got it. He's really got, he's, he's got a good argument, I think, for going into that, into that title contention. Whereas Gascoigne, he's really just one good performance away from putting himself into title contention as well. So this could be a number one contender elimination fight. Uh, I was so impressed by Quinlan's last performance, just his composure against someone so big and strong in Skalgrim. And I encourage, if you're watching this on YouTube, I encourage you to click on the box at the side and watch that fight after this. Excellent, excellent matchup. You see Tim Quinlan just difficult. Look, he's just out of range. The audacity to throw that overhand right from Gascoigne. So brave, so strong, and he's just eating Look him at up. that head movement. Good head movement, but not exactly what you want to see in the MMA cage because a knee up, ooh, <laughs> nice kick. And this is what we've seen from Gas going before, just variety of techniques, that tie boxing background. Look at how look at how modern Gascoin is. He's switching stances. There's definitely a takedown there, but whether Tim Quinlan wanted it or not, I'm not sure. Quinlan's look at that jab is really stinging for Quinlan. Nice inside low kick. Gascoin looks like a very kind of traditional tie boxer almost, just loading up on those leg kicks, choosing his moment. Quinlan with a great head position here. He's, un he's 
underneath the chin. I'd like to see him on the other side. Just putting it up in there and then possibly labeling some knees to the legs. Start to slow down that kicking style of Gascoigne. I mean, this is smart from Quinlan. You know, he does look the physical, more physically strong of the two. And not only is he wrestling, but he's wrestling with great head position. But Gascoigne, beautiful technique in getting the separation. Taking these shots, such a variety, you know, we've seen front kicks, leg kicks, head movements, spinning back kicks, and we're a minute and a half into the fight. And last time we saw Gascoigne here, he didn't really have the chance to get comfortable. And as this fight wears on, we're almost a full two minutes into it, we'll see Gascoigne get more comfortable, a kick comes up the middle. Gascoigne did react to that leg kick a little bit a moment ago. Another spinning back kick to the body, and there's a footprint on Quinlan's abs. Ooh, left and a right land for Quinlan. But you wouldn't tell by the look on Gascoigne's face. He knows what he's here for. He knows it's going to hurt. But what hurts worse, losing or winning? I think it's losing. Nice smack kick up the middle. <laughs> Gascoigne smiles and might have hurt a bit. I think Gascoigne's starting to have some fun, Steve. I think he's got comfy. He's starting to figure out the timing. And he's a creative striker. You know, this is this is his, uh, his canvas. As I'm seeing a little bit more reactivity, I guess, from Tim Quinlan. He's almost he's biting on a lot of the feints. But can Gascoigne use that? Because look. Oh, lovely. Oh, Roll to overhand right. Yeah, now he's in on the body. Can we get a little lock there? Maybe a takedown from Quinlan at the very end of this round. I Single mean, leg. Yeah, it could be enough to win the round. It's pretty close on judges' scorecards. Oh, Quinlan, just doesn't, Quinlan didn't have the, techni the, the technical knowledge there to be able to finish that single leg. But it is a tough position to, to finish from. I give that one to Tim Quinlan in my personal Eddie Bravo style fight card. I was going to give it to Gascoigne. Why? Had the variety of techniques, that slip with the overhand right. Yeah, that, that was about the only thing that he did. The rest oh. of the time it was, it was Quinlan. Quinlan landed forward. a big leg kick, I'll give you that he much. Did. There's a few things there. I like Gascoigne though. Yeah. This is I why we like balance each other out, Steve. See? There's no bias on this bench. Of course not. We <laughs> balance each other until uh, a few other people come in. I love the crack in MMA guys. These guys are the best. But yeah, see, look, the a really, really good cor corner work there from from the Quinlan corner from the crack in MMA team. They're massaging their fighter. They're giving him calm, calm instructions. Honestly, I think stick behind the jab and see what comes for, comes for you. Jab, leg kick, jab, leg kick, smashy, smashy, and don't get so caught up in the fact that Gascoigne's gonna man. Gascoigne's gonna eat your hardest punch. He's gonna smile at you. That's what he's gonna do. Doesn't mean it didn't hurt. Doesn't mean it's not looking good on the judges' scorecards. Just don't get caught up in that kind of thing. I don't. I think Gascoigne could get hit by a by a train, and he'd probably just look the same. The kids, you know, the kid bruises like a like a cinder block. <laughs> he comes out again. He's fired. Okay, yeah, man. I like. I'm, I'm a Gascoigne fan. Come now. on. <laughs> Who comes out with a spinning wheel kick in round two? I like that. All right, I'm Paul Gas. I'm a Gascoigne fan now. All right, come on, Joe. And he, he's so tenacious, you know, blocking these takedowns. Good awareness there from Quinlan to get his hand up. Not eat that right hook of Gascoigne. Maybe the latter half of the first round run by Gascoigne. And Gascoigne trying to keep the script going the same way. Same narrative. He's tasted defeat in the Battle Arena cage. He wants to flip the script. Quinlan enters in on a single leg and then... Can he decide if he wants to be a Greco wrestler or a freestyle wrestler? That's the, <laughs> that's the question. He needs to be lower on the legs if he's going to get the takedown on the legs. He needs to come up high if he wants to work the clinch work. He's got a little bit of a knee tap here, but hard to make that work when they're sitting against the cage. Quinlan's doing really well. He's got a, a wrap around the back. And look, Gascoigne fight back in. He's got left hook lands on the way out. Gascoigne doing a good job of stopping all these takedown attacks from Kumla and then going back to the strike and we're clearly very comfortable. Lovely leg kick. Neither of them checking. The question is, is he being active enough to win the round? Uh, is Quinlan's a takedown attempt being scored? Oh, that will get scored. That will get scored. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Spinning back fit from Gascoigne. Those are huge. Those are huge energy moves that he's throwing in terms of the spinning back, back fist, back heel kick, and things of that sort. Yeah. Spinning hook kick. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh he's lovely out of position, and Tim Quinlan's starting to make it happen. 
Lift it up, baby. Yes, he wraps it. That was cool. I haven't seen that shin wrap before. Now he's on the back. Look at Gascoigne. He's, he's, uh, he's a jack in the box, Steve. Just straight back up. Don't see Quinlan making a lot happen here unless he's going to start. Ooh, nice drag. Drags him well. Controls. He's the human spring, is Gascoigne. You, just, you can't hold him down. The second you hold him down, he bounces back up. Here it is again. Bounces back up. Now, now this this might serve for Quinlan. Quinlan need to hop on the back there and start getting his hooks in. Now, 30 seconds remaining in the second round. And it's starting to turn towards Quinlan here. That's it. Knees to the legs starting to bother him. Maybe make him another mistake. He's on the back. He's wrapped. Can drive him forward. And he's right here in front of us here. Yeah. Gotta say, I'm round one was a very close fight, but round two, all Quinlan at the moment. 10 seconds remaining. A oh, Kimura Kimura. trap attempt here from, Gas from Gascoigne. He's going to struggle Quinlan's with it. Quinlan's hiding it really, really well as he goes into half guard. Side control. Now he's on top. Circling well. I think that might be the difference for Quinlan. If he just starts mixing in his strikes and takedowns a little better. Yeah, the timing on catching the kick and then rushing forward, landing a shot and getting the takedown. And he really bit bit down onto that grip there then when, that he had uh, kind of down on the shin and he was able to bring Gascoigne all together kind of you know just tie him up I like that tie box to do it the catch the so pull the kick towards them and they should throw the shot over the top and then Quinlan's mixed that in with MMA so he pulled the foot through the right hand and then immediately caught the legs and got the takedown with this kind of shin wrap uh, absolutely incredible skills but also great by Gascoigne you know he hit that shot, hit the floor, and before you could blink, he was back up on his feet, trying to get back this back into a, a tie boxing match. But Quinlan just doing mixing the two, and that's what this is. This is mixed martial arts. You have to be able to mix everything together. And Gascoigne, he's doing a great job of stuffing the takedowns, but it's all Quinlan in round two. I wonder if there's any desperation coming from the BMAC corner. They're thinking there's a little bit of a Hail Mary or something they can pull out. Quinlan work behind the one twos. Yeah, and every time Gascoigne has switched, it's come at a little bit of a of a different of a detriment to him. You're talking about desperation, Steve. It is a bit uh, head down, eyes closed, overhand rights now. Which and when he's switched, he's not gonna get the power in that as well. It's also yeah. tough to do that in these lighter weight divisions, because the heavyweights can do that and if they land one shot, it's definitely out, but these lighter weight divisions, it's tough to put each other away. Spinning heel kick again. Quinlan's aware of that now. The gas is dangerous though. It's beautiful Everywhere. footwork, head movement, composure, always got his hands up, never like, out of position. I like the way Quinlan doubled up with that kick there. Oh, lovely, lovely. Two leg kicks and then teeps to the face. A little bit of redness. Gascoigne on the leg. Quinlan choosing his moments to bite down on the mouth, that mouth guard and try and put him away. Nice. Really nice boxing here from Quinlan. Coming everything behind the jab. That's why he's still dangerous. Oh, lovely. His head movement to overhand right. That's been money for him that all one's night. Oh, it's too easy for Quinlan to close the distance. Now we need to see, see see more of that, tying up the legs, getting them together and looking for the takedown. Gascoigne does keep his legs rather close together in that clinch work against the cage. Maybe a little bit of, a, uh, lacking a little bit of awareness there. Was jumping guard for a guillotine there, Steve. Very interesting. Audacity. I, I mean, it. when you got a minute to go, maybe he realizes that he's possibly a couple of rounds down. Throw caution to the wind and jump on a choke. Why not? Well, Quinlan that's a good reason well why not. But. Hand fight. <laughs> Quinlan doing well. Now he can bring his hands together, possibly. Breaks off. One minute remaining. Oh, oh! Quinlan trying to finish it. Man, Gascoigne <laughs> doing really well just to stay on his feet there. Look at Quinlan. The footwork starts Ali shuffling and then going to the body. It's just beautiful. Got that. Just Gascoigne just over exuberant now. He's just I think he's just everything. jumping there. He just got caught off balance. And now yeah. we're gonna see. Can Quinlan put him away on the ground? No, he walks, he rolls back up, back to his feet, like the jack-in-the-box, like you say, Gascoigne, boing! 
Ooh, nice attempt at the cradle there from Quinlan. A lot of, uh, you know, you're talking about variety of striking techniques. You got a oh, good oh, his head. Oh, geez. We've got a good variety of uh, grappling techniques from Tim Quinlan as he tries to put him away here late. Ten seconds remaining. And Gascoigne has just eaten him here. But he still pops back up to his feet. I think that's his default mode. <laughs> Watch for a spin here at the end as Tim Quinlan's backing off here just to save it. That's that. That is a hell of a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Back-to-back -back bangers. Wow. I don't even wow. know what to say. Incredible. I'm not saying anything. No more. That was cool. That, that was cool, man. That was cool. Quinlan, just what skills, what composure. The, I mean, round three, started going to the body, putting the pressure, Ali shuffling, getting the takedowns. It's, That's uh, style, baby. That is style. It's also adaptation, Steve. Round one, it was so close. Clearly, Quinlan went back to that, but you know, very experienced Kraken MMA corner. Got those little pointers, made the adjustments, figured out the timing of Gascoigne, and then mixed together the takedown attempts, and it just made him so much more dangerous. And Gascoigne then had to second guess all his shots, worrying about when Quinlan was going to cover the distance, and uh, just beautiful adjustments. Yeah, and a lot of heart from Gascoigne, like I say, and just jumping back up, we're going to go into the decision in a few moments. It seems to be all agreed upon. Nobody lost, especially not tonight. Everyone's winning. a little bit of the me and Steve were talking on the last show we did over in Gloucester how it was 16 fights 15 wins for uh, I think it was the blue corner on the night and uh, kicking off here in Dunstable we've had three wins in the blue corner again no wins for the Reds hopefully that will mix up later on Split decision, clearly uh, one of our judges, a Mr. Wonder, a Mr. Wonder was making some of the calls on that fight. You can tell this, uh, the judge that scored it that way, he has a Labrador, a white stick and a positive 